welcome back you have done amazing when we did the puzzles last time now today also we are going to solve some more puzzles which are going to be different but interesting so are you ready to solve some more puzzles with me today yes i knew it you would never say no so let's get started now it's time for puzzle g yes for this puzzle we have these nine boxes arranged in this manner where we have three rows that is horizontal and three columns let me make the third column as well which is vertical so the standing is vertical and it is called column and the sleeping is horizontal and it is called a row now we have to arrange three different shapes in this the three shapes are a square a triangle and another very interesting one a circle fill in the boxes these shapes circles triangles and squares in such a way that any shape occurs only once in a row and column now i will give you an example let us place triangle here a circle here and the square here now in this one also these are coming just once you can see only one triangle one circle and one square right now you have to place these shapes in the rest of the boxes in a way that in each row and each column each shape is coming only once easy <laughs> i knew you would say that now let's try it then now it's time for the next puzzle which is puzzle h right so these were the number cards now let us create the image that is being shown to you it will take some time i am not as fast as you all are i do things a little slowly but neatly so you can also choose if you want to do things fast or you want to do things neatly i prefer things done neatly so i am almost done now the question is take four different objects each object should be four such as four buttons four pebbles four seeds four clay balls etc now place them in the given boxes in such a way that every object occurs only once in a row horizontal and a column vertical or standing right now i don't have clay balls or something similarly you may not have these objects so you can take your own objects so let us take four of these i have four of these very interesting shape objects then i have these buttons so let us take four buttons here now do you think i will be doing this for you uh huh you have to do it on your own i'm just taking these so if i'm placing this one over here so in one if we are talking about the horizontal one one can come only once so i am taking a math stick here and i am taking a sketch pen here so can you see each of these is coming only once in this you have to take the rest and arrange them in the same manner can you do it now of course you can it is similar to the previous puzzle and you are an expert now so get started all the best here can you see this they're asking us a question who am i a mirror can help you uh huh i can see the smiles on your faces which is telling me that you enjoyed looking at the numbers in the mirror and you could easily find those numbers did you answer the question who am i now in the next puzzle j we have the same question who am i and i have some sub questions for you the first one is i am between 
and 10. I become 3 more when read upside down. Hmm, that is another puzzle. Now, let's move on to the second sub question. I am 3 more than 8 and 3 less than 14. What's the number? The next one is I am after 50 and before 54. Sum of my digits is 7. The next one is I am just before 40. Which number comes just before 40? Think, think. Next one. Add 5 to me and you will get 24. Now the next one is I am just after 35. Next, reduce 8 from me and 14 will be left. Hmm, that's a nice way of asking this question. I hope you could answer all these questions. Try again if you can't. These are easy, trust me. Just remember what we did in the other chapters and you will be able to solve these questions like in a click. Enjoy! After that interesting previous puzzle, it's time for puzzle K. For this, we are going to need some math sticks. That's right, you have seen fire being created by using these math sticks. But today, we are going to make some numbers with these. So the question is, six math sticks are used to make a zero. Can you make any other number? by shifting a single math stick. So let's first make a zero. So here, and we have to use six math sticks. Now my zero is ready. Can you move just one math stick, just single math stick to make any other number? Let us try if I move this one and put it here. Wow, I got number 9. That's amazing. Can you make some other number? Try it and have fun. Now puzzle L is find out the missing piece and complete the pot. The broken pot. Correct. You just have to identify the broken piece and put it there and complete the puzzle. That's it. Now, I hope that was very easy. Don't tell me you couldn't do it till now. Yes, you all are very smart. Let's move on to puzzle M. How many times can you subtract 5 from 25? Simple. You just have to subtract it. For example, if you subtract 5 once, then the number that you get is 20. Now try doing it yourself. After that puzzle of subtracting 5 from 25, it's time for puzzle N. Now here, my friend Ranu has three seeds. She wants to place them on any three numbers of this chart in such a way that the sum of those numbers will be 17. Can you help Ranu in finding the numbers? Well, I don't have the seeds. I just have these. So I will place these. For example, the sum should be 17. So 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 7 is 17. So I have solved the first one for you. Now you have to do it on your own for the rest. Now tell me in how many ways did you do it? That's nice. You have found many ways. Now if you have two seeds, here we had three, but now if you have two seeds, which numbers will you place them to get a total of 17? Do it! I am sure you are going to have a lot of fun solving these questions. You can ask your friends also to do it with you. Well, I think that's enough. You need to hold your horses. You are doing so well. So, for today, we are going to stop here. And next time, we are going to do the rest of the puzzles. So, be ready for the next time because I am going to have some more difficult questions for you, some puzzles that my friends have shared with me. So, see you next time.
बाय बाय